StarkNet airdrop tutorial. We're gonna get faucet. We're gonna do one test net. We're gonna set Argent wallet. All that good stuff on my new computer. First time I'm doing a live video on this computer, so bear with me. My name is Ziv, also known as Finance After 40. I just got Ethereum testnet for faucet on StarkNet. We're doing X Bank today. There's like five, there's, there's like 20 StarkNet applications already live. And let me show you step by step what you need to do. And if you like this content, Patreon below to support this channel so I can buy the dip and keep doing those videos. This is not complex, but you gotta, there's, there's some steps here. There's some steps here. So let's uh, get to it. Okay. So what are we doing? We are going over uh, XBank Alpha release on StarkNet public testnet. It doesn't say there's incentive. It doesn't say there's an airdrop because StarkNet, the coin is not live. I just assume, I just assume, and many people assume just like me, that once StarkNet will be live and there's tons of applications that are building on that, on, on, on StarkNet, then all the coins that basically did the testnet, you know, it tests uh, 10, 20 minutes, 10, 15 minutes, click on a few buttons and maybe in the future we will all get either rich or wrecked, nothing in between. If you like this joke, Patreon, 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 let's go. So let's do the step by step. Announcing X Bank Alpha release on StarkNet public testnet. This was March 29th, so about two weeks ago. If you watch my video, we did a couple of StarkNet like uh, three months ago, and then they upgrade their whole system, start the Genesis at zero, I think, if I remember correctly, and they say, you know what, everything is new, so download the new uh, wallet and start over. So everything that we did like three months ago doesn't count. I've downloaded a new wallet, okay? You should do the same. Download the new wallet. Step one, it's gonna show you how. Then we need to mint coins. Then we need to get some Ethereum. It's a lot, it's a lot. During the past few months, our team has been working tirelessly on alpha release for our product. Today, we are thrilled to announce X Bank has officially launched. I don't know what I'm doing. This is a new computer. I just uh, installed it, uh, the, the video. Of, uh, so comment below if this is good, if this is better, etc, etc. Launch on uh, StarkNet Public Test and would like to take the opportunity to thank Starkware again. Uh, the first ever launch product ready market may. So basically it's uh, like a compound fork. As far as I've it's like Yumi. Remember Yumi that we did a few days ago on Cosmos ecosystem. This is like Yumi, which is basically compound uh, on Ethereum forks, uh, copy pasta, etc. But I'm not complaining if it's going to give me free money. As a community-driven project, we would welcome any opportunity to get feedback of the product. We're going to test it. If you'd like to try out the testnet, please read below. Starknet mainnet launch. While our team waits for Starknet mainnet launch. So the Starknet itself is not live. Maybe if we use the testnets, Starknet is going to reward us with Starknet coins and Argent wallet and all that stuff. We will continue to develop uh, features. Da, 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 da. Okay security complete documentation complete okay bug bounty okay how to participate in the alpha release to participate please follow the steps below to get started you must first install argent x so you click click here okay. of course all the links will be in the description demand decentralized web wallet for starknet argent x you can then create a new wallet if you don't already have one set a password I don't think, if I remember correctly, when I download this, there's no seed phrase. You just put a password and that's it. I don't know how it works, but if it, I, I don't know. It, it's pretty cool if I don't have to, or it's pretty not safe. I don't know. Can someone explain that to me if I just put password on my Argent wallet? No seed phrase, no nothing. I don't know how it's uh, safe, but maybe it's a uh, next uh, evolution in the crypto startup that we just uh, stumbled upon the gold mine. Okay. Testnet version will support free currencies, Ethereum, USDC and DAI. Since the Stargate bridge is not ready yet, you will not be able to bridge assets from Ethereum 
Gorly testnet network so for now you can mint each token i'm gonna show you how to your wallet using your prospective uh, tokens below step one go to this website ethereum faucet gorly starting.io which is uh right here right here step one basically is to get argent wallet okay get yourself argent wallet and all this will be empty and then you will have two options two options when you first like home page of the world option number one and also make sure you're at the gorly testnet and not ethereum mainnet okay so we're doing all this on ethereum uh testnet on startnet which is pretty pretty cool this is like uh starting uh, ethereum uh six years ago hopefully hopefully i'm excited so basically you got an option add tokens don't do anything because you can't do anything and mint first click on mint and uh, wait like i don't know 10 20 minutes three months ago it was like three hours per transaction i think that's why they uh reboot the whole uh, system etc etc click on mint and then you will have 1000 test tokens that's how you get into the system in order to actually use the test net and moving forward you need ethereum <laughs> we all need freaking ethereum to pay for gas fees okay so you go to this website uh, link uh, in the description faucet gorlystarkman.io request complete and then uh, they sending you 0.002 testnet it was sent to your account you just copy your uh, argent wallet okay let me show you this is the wallet address you just copy here or copy here uh click on this or on this basically put it here say that you're not a robot and uh, send the request basically so that's just to get it here uh, and move on to actually use the website let's make sure i'm recording because uh you know this is a start net it's new let's have it go basically so next once we've done this now it gets a little complicated to so stay with me usdc and die let's read uh, how to get it Note that to mint USDC and DAI on a testnet, you must connect your wallet to Voyager, input respective token addresses into the contract to meet them. For detailed step-by-step -step guide, click here, okay, so everything is there, and go, and then go to the website testnet through the link, and actually use uh, the XBank uh, testnet. As mentioned, our goal is Alpha testnet to test our product feedback security suggestions on discord they don't tell you exactly what to do but we already if you follow my channel you know we're gonna supply we're gonna borrow we're gonna repay da, 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 da. so in order to get die and usdc we're gonna go uh here where it it says uh okay so this is uh, how to acquire testnet we've done this uh ethereum part and now acquire usdc and die on testnet step one visit the link and click on write contract very important visit this link we're gonna visit this link starknet uh, alpha block explorer and click on why is it so big okay i don't want this to be that big uh one second everyone <laughs> one second okay so it opens this website i've already done that for uh die uh, we're gonna do this for uh, USDC uh, it's pretty simple but still it's a little technical uh, we need to do the following and I apologize because it's okay okay acquiring USDC die step one visit the link we just click start net then go here to step two connect your argent wallet by clicking connect argent wallet button notification will pop up so you go here and then there's a button connect i've already done that connected argent wallet and it puts my uh, wallet address then you got a couple of options uh set limit remove funds request funds we're gonna put request funds okay I've already done this to die okay you see here connect argent wallet step three toggle to the request fund the uh, option number three uh input the testnet token contract into input once done click transact then notification will uh prompt you to sign the transaction once done transaction will be done please wait for a few moments for transaction to be executed and your request asset should be successfully deposited to your account below are the testnet tokens so 
I've done die, so basically let's do USDC. You're gonna copy this, the USDC, basically, and you're gonna click uh, copy, and you're gonna go back here, and in request funds number three, we're gonna pasta uh, the USDC. We're gonna click transact. It's gonna open basically Argent, and remember that we got Ethereum faucet as step one. I remember now it's gonna say network fee look at this 0 0.00001320 ethereum that's how it should be and this could be huge and i hope for a giant error for starknet click sign cool 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 only thing is that it's gonna take us uh, i don't know uh, for the day it took me like uh two minutes which is a lot better than three hours a few months ago uh, let's pause and I'll get back to you. Now this is done. It took a minute. Now in order to see the USDC, they only send me three bucks of USDC, three bucks of that. It is, but it is. Uh, but you don't see it. So how? What do you do? You click on Add Token and you just copy pasta the token address that we just put in step three, and it shows USDC, USDC decimal six instead of eighteen. And then uh, basically it's in your wallet. So that's good steps. So far so good. If you like and value this so far, Patreon below to support this channel, my channel. So we got USDC st test coins. We got die test coins. We got test test coin, which we're not going to use for this uh, specific test net. And we got some Ethereum to pay gas fees, which is cool. Now we can actually go to the X Bank wallet and what are we doing? This is the dashboard. Okay, connect your wallet, of course. Go here and same as we did with Yumi, same as any other uh, compound fork. Uh, start with the die just for the example. You click here collateral and you put you enable die as collateral. And now let's try and supply die and then we can borrow against it. That's basically what we're gonna do. I haven't done it, I'm doing this live. So let's click. And once this is uh, enable, I can click uh, max, I can do free. Let's do, I don't know, 2.5 die. Wallet balance, uh, it goes from zero, free to 50 cents. Die deposit balance, 2.5 enable. And then I'm gonna get 4.39% uh, APY and my borrow limit, my max, and then I can borrow uh, two against my 250, which is cool. That's 80%. Okay, that's exactly as you may click Annabelle and you click sign. Okay, so there's, I don't know if there's a Ethereum fee. I haven't, uh, I just click. It says uh, Annabelle link die. Okay, again, it's gonna take a little more. This isn't Cosmos, let's uh, not forget. This is still Ethereum, but just, I don't know if it's layer two, uh, roll up, ZK roll up, I, I don't know. I don't know what Starknet is. All I know, there's a lot of hype, not a developer. Comment below if you know a little more about uh, Starknet and what's the, what is it that uh, everyone are so excited about and what are we all gonna do once we make it? Where, where are we gonna meet? Are we going to, uh, uh, what? Um, uh, no, not Miami. Everyone are going to Miami for Bitcoin conferences. No, let's, let's go to some place exotic and, uh, and do some finance after 40 party. <laughs> This could be a good idea for our Patreon members. I don't know. Okay, let's wait for this because it's still pending. Okay, Annabelle die complete. Nice. Uh, so that took, I don't know, three minutes. Let's call it three minutes. Uh, let's go and see what we got. So now I got uh, this one. Uh, let's see if I need to basically borrow against that or click refresh or something. I don't know. I don't know. Let's see. Maybe I need to click F5. I don't know. This is a new one. So I just supplied the collateral uh, deposit balance still showing 0% for some reason. Okay, so it's still loading. It is what it is. It's a uh, start net, you know, still 0%. Uh, okay, let's go back. I deposit 2.5. Have I not deposit 2.5? Deposit the uh, attack and I withdraw. Uh, no, it's still not here. I'm gonna pause and we'll come back to you. 
Okay, so I think I know the problem. Now it works, die deposit 250. When you click deposit, do not just click automatically on the Argent wallet. It takes like three to five seconds for them to calculate the Ethereum uh, gas fees. So first of all, I just clicked and it didn't go through even though it did say, but now it should uh, be okay because now it says my wallet balance is 50 cents. Let's um, just make sure. It is a long video because we're dealing with StarkNet and just it's, it is what it is at this point. I got deposit 2.5 uh, uh, die. Let's go to this. Uh, it's all loading automatically in here. Nice. So I got deposit 2.5 USDT, uh, USD uh, dollars, basically die. I'm making this much is in interest and now I want to borrow against that. What am I going to borrow against that? So let's say uh, eat or something. So I'm getting paid 439 and I can borrow against that. Let's borrow die. Why not? I can borrow Ethereum, but it doesn't matter. If I borrow Ethereum, I can just uh, swipe it. You know what? Let's borrow Ethereum. Why not? 80% limit. Okay. Is there anything else in uh, stables? 80% limit. Cool. Uh, let's borrow uh, eat. Okay. Because... I, I assume it will go up, but uh, let's click 80%. Uh, ta -ta -ta. Let's do 0 0.0005. $1.50 wallet balance is this, 7 bucks. Term wallet balance, uh, another $1.50. My borrow limit is 76 This will be your new borrow limit after current adjustment. Current borrow balance, $1.50. Borrow anyway, sure, why not? Ah, so I can do okay. So you think it's uh, it's too much. So let's do 0 0.03, 45 percent, 0 0.0004, 60 percent, uh, and then it's <laughs> sure. Why not 0 0.05? Well, why do I care? Up to 80 percent. Borrow anyway. Okay, let's borrow anyway. You see, you wait a few seconds. And once you wait a few seconds, the network fee. This needs to show me a number, and until it does, I can't click. And now it shows me that the fee is zero point. This is so cool. Zero 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 four eight sign. Now it's gonna take another two three minutes, something like that. So let's pause. But you get the point basically of uh, how it should be, other than that it's slow, but it's better than it here. Okay, as I said, three minutes later, it says board. That's cool. Uh, now my wallet balance is uh, like six bucks or something like that and my max borrow uh, I assume it's done Interesting. So let's go back to my uh, home page <laughs> Look at this net APY. That's cool deposit minus borrow collateral uh, 250 board 150 my borrow limit. That's nice. That's a nice uh, home screen nice home screen so I uh, deposit 250 eat 250 die I borrow against that for 366 so I get basically paid to borrow that's cool that's cool I get paid to borrow uh, 150 with that 150 just so you know I can go back and I can borrow I can uh, basically uh, borrow more what can I borrow more uh, basically let's borrow I don't know more die can I do more die uh, ta -ta -ta. No, but I can borrow, I don't know, but in reality you should basically uh, borrow more because it's slow, I'm not gonna do this, but basically you can now, just so you know, uh, click here, click withdraw uh, the, the, the 250 and then I'm going all the way to zero. I'm not gonna do it, the video is getting too long, but in reality just withdraw like, I don't know, like half, not a financial advice. Go for the withdraw and also on the other side, uh, go to the eat and click on repay and do, I don't know, like half here and half on the other side. So that way you used all the options, uh, enable, supply, borrow, uh, withdraw and repay. That's what you need to do. If this was valuable to you, Patreon below to support this channel. I thank you very, very much. My name is Ifans after 40. I'll see you guys next time. Bye-bye.